The rugged landscapes of Wales, its mist-covered valleys, steep mountain passes and ancient stone fortresses hide more than Celtic legends and medieval stories. Beneath the rolling green hills lies something far older, far more mysterious, and far more shocking than anyone imagined. In the last decade, scientists have been able to peer deeper than ever into the past, analyzing ancient bones, sequencing genomes, and mapping the hidden threads that connect modern Welsh people to ancient populations. And what they discovered about Welsh genes stunned even the experts. This isn't just another story about ancestry. It's a tale of survival, isolation, and a unique genetic signature that sets Wales apart not only from England and Scotland, but from almost every other population in Europe. From Stone Age hunter-gatherers who clung to the mountains after the glaciers melted, to Celtic tribes who refused to be erased by empires, to unexpected genetic markers that reveal one of the purest ancient lineages in Western Europe, the Welsh genome is a time capsule. In this exploration, we'll follow the trail of DNA back thousands of years, uncovering the surprising discoveries scientists have made about the Welsh, discoveries that rewrite parts of British history, challenge what we thought we knew about ancient migrations, and reveal why the Welsh may carry some of the oldest surviving genetic signatures on the continent. To understand what makes Welsh DNA so shocking, we first travel back to the world of the earliest humans who walked these lands. Long before the Celts, before the Romans, before the Anglo-Saxons, to a time when Wales was a wild frontier of forests, rivers, and towering cliffs, and where a small, resilient population left an imprint still detectable in the people of Wales today. The story of Welsh genetics begins at the very end of the last Ice Age, when Wales was a harsh, cold frontier being reclaimed by forests and wildlife. As the glaciers retreated, some of the earliest humans to re-enter Britain made their way into what is now Wales. These Mesolithic hunter-gatherers lived in small, scattered groups, moving through river valleys and coastal regions, leaving behind tools, bones, and most importantly, fragments of DNA that scientists have only recently begun to analyze in detail. When researchers compared the genomes of these early hunter-gatherers to modern populations, they made a striking discovery. Wales retains a noticeably high percentage of this ancient ancestry, much more than many regions of England. This wasn't simply a random pattern. The rugged terrain of Wales created natural barriers that allowed ancient genetic signatures to survive with minimal dilution. While other regions of Britain experienced heavier waves of incoming populations, the Welsh mountains shielded communities from large-scale replacement. Around 6,000 years ago, Neolithic farmers from Anatolia in modern-day Turkey migrated across Europe and brought agriculture to Britain. In England, these farmers mingled significantly with local hunter-gatherers, but in Wales, scientists found that the genetic impact of these early farmers was surprisingly limited. A 2019 genome study revealed that while Neolithic ancestry spread across Britain, Wales remained more resistant to these migrations than previously thought. The land itself played a major role. Steep valleys, dense forests, and stormy coastlines slowed the movement of farming communities and preserved older genetic layers. But the real shock came when researchers uncovered just how distinct the Welsh genetic profile remained during the next major shift, the arrival of the Beaker culture around 4,500 years ago. This Bronze Age culture swept across Europe and caused massive population replacement in many regions of Britain. In England, up to 90% of the genetic pool changed almost overnight. Yet in Wales, the replacement was far lower. Scientists estimated that only about 25-40% to 40 of Welsh ancestry comes from Beaker-associated populations, far less than its eastern neighbors. This was one of the earliest signs that Wales was holding on to something unique, something ancient, something remarkably intact. Even as new waves of migrants entered Britain, Wales absorbed them more slowly and to a lesser extent, preserving a much older lineage beneath the surface. As Bronze Age and Iron Age cultures evolved, another powerful force entered the British genetic tapestry, the Celts, whose arrival added new layers to Welsh ancestry, but again, in a way that preserved more of the ancient roots than anyone expected. By the time the Celtic tribes reached Britain around 1000 BC, the foundations of the Welsh gene pool were already ancient. 
But the Celts brought a new cultural and genetic influence that would come to define Wales for millennia. These weren't a single unified people, but a collection of tribes sharing language families, religious beliefs, social structures, and artistic traditions that spread gradually across Europe before anchoring themselves firmly in the British Isles. When scientists examined modern Welsh DNA, they uncovered something astonishing. Welsh men carry one of the highest concentrations of a specific Y chromosome marker associated with ancient Celtic ancestry, R1B21. This lineage is widespread in regions with strong Celtic heritage, including Ireland and parts of Scotland, but nowhere is it more concentrated than in Wales. Studies suggest that more than 70% of Welsh men carry this marker, making it one of the purest surviving Celtic paternal signatures in the world. This isn't just a statistical curiosity. It tells a story of continuity, a story in which generation after generation of Welsh communities remained anchored to their lands while many other regions experienced continual migration and blending. Where movement was easier, genetic signatures were diluted, but in Wales, geography once again played protector. Mountain chains, deep valleys, and fragmented terrain limited travel and restricted large-scale mixing. Villages often stayed genetically distinct for centuries, and these micro-regions left subtle patterns that modern researchers can map like fingerprints. What makes this even more surprising is the contrast with female lineages. While Celtic Y chromosomes dominate the paternal side, mitochondrial DNA passed through the maternal line paints a much more diverse picture. Haplogroup H, common across Europe, is widespread in Wales, but scientists also detected higher than expected levels of older haplogroups, like U5, which trace back to some of the earliest hunter-gatherers in Europe. This suggests that while Celtic males had a strong influence on the paternal ancestry, many ancient maternal lineages persisted far longer in Wales than in other regions. This dual pattern, strong Celtic paternal continuity alongside deep ancient maternal diversity, makes Welsh genetics unusually layered. It also shows that Wales was not simply a place where Celts arrived, it was a place where Celts merged with older populations and formed a uniquely resilient blend. Then came a series of invasions that changed the genetic landscape of Britain forever. But once again, Welsh DNA resisted sweeping transformations in ways that shocked researchers. While England experienced major genetic shifts from Romans, Anglo-Saxons, and Vikings, Wales remained comparatively untouched, preserving some of the oldest genetic signatures in Western Europe. When the Romans marched into Wales around AD 48, they expected to reshape the region as they had done across much of Europe. For more than 300 years, Roman forts, roads, and settlements dotted the Welsh landscape. Yet despite their military presence, scientists were stunned to discover just how little the Roman occupation altered Welsh genetics. Ancient DNA studies and modern population analysis both point to the same conclusion. Roman influence on the Welsh gene pool was minimal. Unlike England, where Roman soldiers and settlers from across the empire left measurable genetic imprints, Wales remained largely unmixed the mountains once again acted as guardians, limiting assimilation and protecting the deep Celtic and pre-Celtic ancestry that had defined the population for thousands of years. This genetic resilience became even more dramatic in the centuries that followed, particularly during the Anglo-Saxon migrations of the 5th and 6th centuries. In eastern England, the arrival of these Germanic tribes transformed both language and genetics. Some areas today show up to 40% Anglo-Saxon ancestry. But when researchers compared Welsh DNA to English DNA, they found a stark contrast. Wales showed far lower Anglo-Saxon influence. In many regions, it was barely detectable. Even along border areas where some mixing occurred, the scale was nowhere near the sweeping genetic turnover seen across England. Viking influence tells a similar story. While the Norse left clear genetic footprints in Scotland, Ireland, the Isle of Man, and parts of northern England, 
the Welsh genome shows only about 1-3% to Viking paternal ancestry, mostly in coastal areas like Anglesey. Despite centuries of raids and occasional settlement, the Vikings never became a major genetic presence in Wales. The terrain, once again, made large-scale assimilation difficult. Ports may have changed hands, but the interior valleys remained culturally and genetically intact. Even the Normans, who conquered England in 1066 and established powerful marcher lordships along the Welsh border, left surprisingly little genetic influence on Wales. Estimates suggest Norman ancestry remains below 5% in most Welsh populations. Their castles reorganized political power, but they did not significantly reshape the Welsh gene pool. The Industrial Revolution, much later, introduced some internal migration into Wales. Miners, laborers, and workers from England, Ireland, and parts of Europe moved into new industrial towns. But researchers studying fine-scale genetic structure found that the impact was subtle compared to the massive industrial migrations seen in northern England or London. Rural Wales, especially the west and north, retained strong genetic continuity despite modern movement. Across all these eras, Roman, Anglo-Saxon, Viking, Norman, and industrial, the same pattern keeps appearing. Wales resisted genetic replacement on a scale unmatched by nearly every other region of Britain. Instead of being shaped by wave after wave of incoming populations, the Welsh genome preserved its ancient roots with remarkable stability. But the most shocking discoveries were yet to come. When scientists zoomed in further, analyzing the internal structure of Welsh DNA itself, they uncovered a level of genetic distinctiveness so pronounced that it reshaped their entire understanding of British history and revealed just how ancient the Welsh lineages truly are. As the genetic story of Wales unfolded, scientists began to realize that DNA alone couldn't explain the extraordinary continuity they were seeing. Something else, something cultural, something historical, had helped preserve these ancient lineages. And so researchers turned their attention to the living traditions of Wales, its language, naming systems, and deeply rooted sense of identity. What they found added yet another layer to the already astonishing genetic portrait. Welsh culture, like Welsh DNA, has shown a remarkable resilience. The Welsh language, one of the oldest in Europe and a direct descendant of the ancient Britonic tongue, served as both a cultural anchor and a barrier. For centuries, language shaped social boundaries just as effectively as mountains shaped travel routes. In many rural communities, Welsh remained the dominant language well into the modern era, influencing marriage patterns and limiting widespread genetic mixing with neighboring English-speaking populations. The result? Cultural isolation helped reinforce genetic continuity. Surnames offered more clues. Unlike England, where fixed surnames emerged as early as the 11th century, Wales didn't widely adopt hereditary surnames until the 15th and 16th centuries. Before that, the patronymic system meant names changed each generation, Ap David, Ap Whale, Ap Glyn. When fixed surnames finally became common, they reflected a blend of origins, native Celtic names, anglicized forms of older Welsh names, Norman introductions, and even subtle Scandinavian influences that had arrived indirectly through English channels. Yet despite this mix, the majority of traditional Welsh surnames still point back to deep local roots, aligning closely with the genetic clusters scientists observed. Researchers also noted that Welsh surnames often preserved clues about the land itself. Names tied to valleys, rivers, colors, and physical traits often remained within the same communities for centuries. This mirrored the genetic evidence showing that many Welsh families had lived in the same region for hundreds, sometimes thousands of years. Even today, certain surnames cluster in specific counties or valleys, tracing a direct line back to ancient settlement patterns. But perhaps the most remarkable conclusion from all these studies is what they collectively reveal about Welsh identity. While many European populations show heavy layers of migration, movement, and demographic turnover, the Welsh stand out as carriers of a lineage that has endured against extraordinary odds. Geography alone doesn't explain it. 
culture alone doesn't explain it. History alone doesn't explain it. It's the combination of all three, mountainous landscapes, linguistic persistence, and a resilient cultural identity that preserved one of the oldest genetic signatures in Europe. Modern Wales is, of course, more diverse than ever. New populations have arrived in the 20th and 21st centuries, contributing to the nation's cultural and genetic richness. But beneath this modern diversity lies a core ancestry stretching back to the very first humans who set foot on post-Ice Age Britain. This is what makes Welsh genetics so shocking. It reveals not just who the Welsh are today, but who the earliest Britons were. And now, with advanced DNA sequencing, more discoveries are emerging every year. From ancient skeletons found in limestone caves to medieval graves unearthed during construction projects, scientists are piecing together an even more detailed timeline of Welsh ancestry, one that may yet reveal new surprises about the origins of the people of Wales. As this journey comes to an end, we've seen how genetics, geography, culture, and language blend into a single story, a story written not just in history books but in the very DNA of the Welsh people. The findings are clear. Wales holds one of the oldest, most unique, and most resilient genetic identities in Europe. It is a living archive of ancient Britain, preserved in the hills, carried in the language, and etched into the genetic code of its people. Thank you for joining us on this deep exploration into Welsh genetics. If you found this journey fascinating, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss our future explorations into history, science, and ancestry. And if you have Welsh roots or if you've uncovered surprising details about your own heritage, share your story in the comments below. The story of Welsh genes is more than a tale of ancestry. It is a story of survival against the odds, of communities protected by mountains and valleys, of a culture that held fast to its language, traditions, and identity through centuries of conquest, migration, and change. From the first Mesolithic hunter-gatherers, to the Celts, the Beaker peoples, and even through Roman, Anglo-Saxon, Viking, and Norman times, Wales remained a place where ancient lineages could endure. What scientists have discovered is nothing short of extraordinary a population whose DNA preserves traces of some of the oldest European lineages, where ancient maternal lines have survived alongside Celtic paternal signatures, and where modern Welsh people carry a living record of human history stretching back over 11,000 years. The genetic uniqueness of Wales not only illuminates the past of the British Isles, but also challenges long-held assumptions about migration, conquest, and cultural change in Europe. This is why Welsh DNA continues to captivate researchers and enthusiasts alike. It offers a rare glimpse into how geography, culture, and human resilience can preserve the essence of a people across millennia. Every valley, every village, and every ancient surname tells a story of survival, adaptation, and continuity. Wales is not just a land of myths and legends, it is a living archive of the past, written in the very genes of its people. The research we discussed today provides an invaluable foundation for future studies. As scientists continue to sequence ancient genomes and uncover more regional patterns, our understanding of the deep history hidden in the Welsh population will only grow richer. For anyone with Welsh ancestry, this work is a reminder of the incredible depth and resilience of your roots. We've included links to the studies and papers referenced in this video in the description below so you can explore the science for yourself. If this journey through the genetic and cultural landscape of Wales inspired you, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss our future explorations into history, science, and ancestry. And finally, we'd love to hear from you. Have you traced your Welsh heritage? Did you discover anything surprising in your family history? Share your experiences in the comments. We might uncover even more hidden stories together. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and DNA, and for exploring the astonishing story of Welsh genetics. Until next time, the hills of Wales and the code within its people continue to hold secrets waiting to be discovered.